Hi, my name is Anna Maria DeFio, and I'm a New York City, Sao Paulo-based writer, performer, and documentarian. I was born in Caracas, Venezuela, and raised in Miami, Florida by Dominican parents. Earlier this year, I moved to Sao Paulo, Brazil, to research forced labor and exploitation in the Americas for my graduate thesis. With the help of a few wonderful friends, I turned my research into a short documentary. The short introduces the topic by investigating the exploitation of Bolivians in the garment industry of Sao Paulo, Brazil. Todos pasamos ese momento de, de, del trabajo esclavo, aunque no queramos. Entonces, el trabajo esclavo no solamente es un mal, viene desde el origen. Todo por querer uno estar en mejor situación, pero a la verdad no es así. No es así, pero estamos concientizando, estamos en ese trabajo de, de que debemos de ayudar a nuestro prójimo. Y, y el problema que tenemos dentro de nuestra cultura, si se dice así, eh, es siempre egoísmo. Querer siempre estar uno más que el otro, ¿no? The moment I began researching seven months ago, I knew it was going to be impossible to explore the complicated global issues involved with forced labor, such as migration, gender, development, race, and class, in under 25 minutes. It became quite clear that in order to properly explore this issue, I needed more time and resources to report on forced labor and turn it into a feature-length documentary. It's perverse and paradoxical that when they go to these new countries, they become from the outset trapped in a certain, to a certain social standing, right? Because they are migrants, they're Bolivians, right? There's a stigma with being a Bolivian because uh, we are the poorest country in the, reason, in, in the region. This is something that people live with and in many cases this causes them psychologically to feel capable of less, right? Bolivians celebrate draws, for instance, in sporting events. Um, but those are our victories. That's, that's the level to which we have grown used to uh, performing on an international level. But I think this will change and, and is changing. And that is, and I think being in the country right now is important to assimilate that change. So with the rise of Evo Morales and him being in power, the, the main change has not so much been political or social, it's been symbolic. So people suddenly feel that they too could one day become president, even though they come from a small rural village. It's very important to start planting those seeds in the mind of people to know that we can do more and that we are in the process of regaining our pride and regaining our identity and, and feeling confident in the world. So my expectation is that people who've gone through this process will no longer see, will no longer buy in as easily to the American dream, to the Brazilian dream, to the Argentinian dream, because there are things we start to value over and above just economic or material wealth Right, we start to value our dignity, our sovereignty, our sense of identity. As an immigrant myself, I have an intimate understanding of the realities immigrants face today. I believe that social impact can only come from inside the communities affected, not solely from outsiders who can't speak our languages or understand our realities. My nuanced understanding and unprecedented access to the local immigrant community will translate into comprehensive and culturally sensitive reporting on an extremely urgent issue. If you are financially able, please consider donating what you can, or share this with your friends and family. Your contribution will make this very important project possible and help me explore this very urgent yet often ignored issue further all over Latin America. Thank you.